MapleSim is a system level modeling and simulation platform. So what that means and how it's different than other things, you have a system to create and your job might be to create components of that system, but every change that you make is going to affect that system. What MapleSim does is it allows you to see, well, what is the impact of that? Am I still going to be able to meet my, my system level requirements, even with these changes at the component level or at the subsystem level? So for example, I changed the mass of my automotive chassis. Can, does my controller still work? Can I still reach the same fuel economy goals? Those are the kinds of questions that are very difficult to answer with today's tool chain until you bring MapleSim into the picture. By adding this system level modeling and simulation platform to your existing tool chain, you can start to answer those questions right up front with confidence, especially for advanced projects with advanced goals and advanced requirements. A tool like MapleSim is going to allow you to specify, monitor, and simulate those changes. So in order to make this easy for engineers, because it's, tip, it's traditionally a very difficult thing to do, to bring all these different engineering disciplines together and answer what is the system level performance. It's traditionally very difficult to do. The way that the MapleSim modeling and simulation platform makes this easier for engineers is by being completely white box, completely open, the opposite of black box. I can get into any subsystem, any component, and answer with confidence, why is it behaving that way? I may, and, and this spans an entire spectrum, I may have something all the way from lookup table data, so that's been experimentally validated, and I've included that in my model, and connect that up to an analytically defined model based on the physics of how it behaves. When I have those two things together, like I do in MapleSim, it is unambiguous why my system is performing the way that it is, and I can start to answer very difficult questions like, what is the cause of this nonlinear behavior? What is the impact of this design change? Um, how is this going to impact the development time if I need to meet these new requirements? These are the kinds of high-level questions that I can answer with the MapleSim physical modeling and simulation platform. 